Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to focus on how to implement chaining functions. Let's start. Chaining functions allows you to run multiple schematic functions in a sequence, passing the same context object between them. This way you can combine different AI service and logic to create complex and dynamic AI application. Let's make this concept clear with an example. We have a semantic function that returns the history that can contain city name and the historical information. We have also created a weather plugin that gives weather update based on the cities. Now we are going to use those functions in a specific order to get the city name and the historical information along with the weather also. To achieve this concept, we are going to add a new plugin called JSON plugin. This new plugin will help us to get the city name from the historical information and give to the weather plugin. In the end, we will make some adjustment in the weather plugin. This will help to give us not only the weather report and also the historical information provided by the HT plugin. Let's start how to implement this feature. I have created new project called a chaining function. In the skills folder, I created a new skill, JSON, and I created a new class extract JSON. This plugin used to extract the information from the HT plugin, like city name and a HT name, we are going to extract. For that, I'm going to add the function called public. This function return the value for SK context. Extract information. Information input type SK context. If contact is null then throw an exception if not null we have to read the information from this xk context class for that i'm just use json object json object j object dot parse here we are going to pass the input. So the input present in the context variable. So context input. Next, we have to read the city name. So if JSON object try get value, you should check city name. it is available out where city so extract the city name from this json assign back input to the next plugin our weather plugin weather plugin required only the city name so we have to assign back context input equal to this city we have to assign it so the city name now available into this context okay and there is one more information available, history information. That also we have to take. So J, if JSON object try get value history, it is available out where history assigned back to context. So input we have to change we should not change it we have to assign into the new so assign to this property history then history assign it that's it return the context oh i have to change to to string Assign to two string. This also should be two string. Yeah. 
so we have to add the annotation sk function and description of this function extract extract information from the json that's it our json plugin is ready the next step we go to weather plugin in this weather plugin as i mentioned we have to pack all the values city name weather information and the history information also we have to pack it, pack it here so that changes will do it here input there is no changes the value read from the context here input city name and get the weather report instead of returning this string we have to change to xk context so i used this is i return this one here i assign context variable called weather assigned to response body that's it once assigned this context we are returning the context object so we are using the same context object no need to do any changes in this case input property have the city name and in weather property have the weather details information and a history property has a history information no need to do any changes so our plugin it's ready the next step we have to call the sequence order that will write it here first we have to import json skill and weather skill for that kernel dot import skill object plugin object we have to pass so new of class name extract json and name of the skill extract json next we have to import weather skill import skill new of weather plugin we have to pass a key key have present in my settings class config settings config parameter and weather api key the next name of the skill weather plugin that's it the two plugin is ready okay the next step we have to con we have to pass this skill into the pipeline this is our kernel pipeline we have already have the information context variable first parameter and uh, the first skill should call history the second we have to pass the json because it will go to the flow first it will invoke history second it will go to the json function finally it will go to the weather this parameter we can see this is a sk function semantic function we just import only skills we have to tell which function should invoke for that we have to read the function name from the skill skill fun equal to kernel dot skills dot get function the first parameter skill name which skill i should refer then the same name we have to pass we have to refer the extract json skill next which function i should call if the skill has multiple function you have to tell okay you have to invoke this function for our use case we have to call this extract information that's it the same way for weather also weather function kernel dot skills dot get function the first parameter name of skill weather plugin next which function should call so the function name get weather async assign it that's it 
this sk function we have to pass the order after history call json skill after json skill call the weather function that's it our pipeline is ready we quickly run and see the result First, you can see the kernel skills, three skills available, that means three plugins available, extract JSON, weather plugin and city skill and we created the SK function also, these two and we are creating the context variable, we set it and next I put the breakpoint here, next I put one more breakpoint here. I put breakpoint here so run the application F5 first it's invoke the history skill and get some information here you can see the context property uh, you, you just go here here you can see the input city name Paris and some history information available the input so we are assigning to city name Paris to the input this input as I mentioned the next plugin this is the input change it and the history information assigned to this context so two context variable assigned here you can see input Paris history returning and FI the final plugin get invoked weather plugin city name Paris and we get the weather report weather report assigned to context variable return fi here you can see leave that result at the moment if you go to the variables you can see the information weather information history information input information if I expand this one location country weather report available here this is a step to implement chaining functions we'll talk about more in upcoming videos thanks to all